trailer for the new War Thunder update came out, and on top of the F-16C that was in a dev vlog a few days prior, the trailer showed off a MiG-29 SMT. Since then, the dev stream happened and the first dev server went live. The MiG-29 SMT will be getting R-73s, probably. I, um, maybe not. I, I, I guess the old MiG-29 did have them on the dev server too. On top of this, it also carries R-27 ETs, the infrared version of the best missile in the game. Basically, imagine an R-27ER, but with no warning from your radar warning receiver. Obviously, it'll be harder to get locks from super long ranges from front aspect, and the possibility to flare them is going to exist, to some degree. But basically, an F-16 with better flight performance, and a MiG-29 with a better radar and better missiles is coming. Now, the day before the F-16 dev vlog dropped, I was working on a video that sort of fell under the premise that it was possible that the F-15A would be coming this update and why that would be okay. The F-15A is a much less modern aircraft than the MiG-29 SMT. I want to say it entered service in like 1976, and when it entered service it was using AIM-9Js and AIM-7E2s, so not exactly the best. It did go on to use AIM-9Ls and AIM-7Fs, maybe even AIM-7Ms, I don't know, it doesn't matter functionally for the game. There's also the issue of countermeasures with it, the F-15 didn't really carry them in real life, but you know, neither did the F-5C, so, you know, Gaijin can fudge these things a little bit. Basically, in my planned video, I argued that an F-15A with four AIM-9Ls and four AIM-7Ms would be roughly equivalent to a MiG-29 with two R-27ERs and four R-73s, assuming the F-15 gets chaffin flares. I still think that this is true. I think that if the F-15 came to the game this patch, instead of the F-16C, I think that that would have been better. The F-15A, if it comes now, will never be the top dog anymore. It's gonna have flight performance basically on par with the MiG-29 and F-16. The F-16 is gonna like lock up more at high speeds, and at its ideal turning speed, the Falcon will almost certainly outturn the Eagle. In terms of like acceleration and stuff, and engine performance, and thrust to weight and all that, it's roughly on par with the MiG-29 which is by no means bad, it, it's very good. So basically the F-15 would be a MiG-29 that is a bigger target with worse missiles, but two extra radar guided missiles. That's what the F-15A would boil down to if it gets added now. Now that's not to say that at some point in the future an F-15C with AMRAMs won't potentially be the meta jet. I'm just saying that the F-15A lost its chance. It can roughly be on par if it comes in the, what, October update? Is there an October update? And we all know the J-39 Gripen is coming in December, almost certainly with AMRAMs. It's a little sad that the, the F-15A is never going to get its chance to be, you know, the top dog, the best fighter, or at least one of the best. Now, of course, other F-15 variants, the F-15C, the F-15E, the F-15EX, all of those could still be absolutely ridiculous, potentially. If the F-15A comes in December or later, it will basically be flung into an active radar homing missile meta with jets 20 years newer than it, that it can't really, you know, play ball with. It won't really be able to compete with these jets. And I guess if that's the case, I could see it not getting the better missiles and just coming with the AIM-9Js and the AIM-72s and being like the winter event vehicle or something before the real serious F-15s get added in like next June or something. I could see that happening. It's just a, sh a shame that such a great aircraft is being relegated to basically nothing. Kind of a pointless thing. 